Oh. Hello and welcome to another random review and how to. Today we're going to be talking about the Simply Safe home security system. Now I have used this system for six years. Uh, when we moved into our house, we bought it. Unfortunately, I have the first version of this, and what ended up happening was the card inside the chip, the the uh, SIM card, quit working. It went out of service. They no longer supported it. So the original five hundred dollar system I bought six years ago uh, became bricked. And I guess that happens. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not 100% comfortable with that. That's going to be my first complaint. Um, I don't know that I'm going to have any complaints about this system because it is a lot nicer than what I had. Uh, so this video is going to kind of be two things. I'm going to show first kind of what's in our system. And then I'm going to show you how I installed, uninstalled the first system. So the first Simply Safe system, uh, it's a lot of white um, products. Uh, the batteries constantly went dead in the keypads. The base station, like I said, ended up not working. Uh, the entry sensors lost batteries. So, I mean, there's good and bad with doing a Simply Safe system. One is the batteries are constantly in need of updates. I don't know how these ones are going to react or, or work over time. Something I'm going to learn. But I just wanted to show you, uh, your system's obviously customizable. And I'll say, with what happened with me, I ended up uh, calling them and saying, listen, you know, my system's not working. We went through a couple things. They said, oh, you're no longer in support. So I said, well, what does that mean? And they're like, well, you can't use your system. You can use it in your house. It'll still set an alarm off, but it will not call dispatch. And that's honestly not what I wanted to do. So they ended up giving me 50% uh, off, which I'm sure is a deal that they do at some time. But I got 50% off. This system right here that you're looking at cost me about $270 uh, total. So I actually have three glass brake sensors, an extra siren, the yard sign. Um, I have four entry systems, two keypads, one for upstairs, one for once we walk in our garage, two panic buttons, and our base station. Uh, just first impressions, everything's a lot smaller than the original system that I had. Uh, and you'll kind of see that later on in the video. Um, other things I'm not sure of, I'm going to unbox here for the first time, is kind of how these install. And everything that I used last time, I think there were some tape uh, adhesive, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of these come with, um, they're all pre-taped. There are screws though, so if you do want to screw these in, um, you have that opportunity to screw things in. So I'm going to actually unpack everything and then show what everything looks like out of the box. All right, so here is everything unpacked. What you're going to notice is that everything has the pull tabs on it uh, for where your battery is. So, as you pull these things out, it's going to activate the batteries. It's on every single device. Um, these are our two keypads. You can see if you've had the old system, uh, they're smaller to me, um, but the keypad, the actual key numbers are bigger. Um, you have your three off, home, and away systems on here, and then everything up here is going to be the LED sensor. There's four adhesive straps on the back. And the other thing about this back panel is you can see how easily it slides off. So as you actually start to install this, you're going to carry your keypad around with you um, and program in all of your different devices. So here we have our actual uh, door sensors. So these come with these little magnetic ones that also have the strip. Um, but what's going to happen is if it blinks once, that means the door opens. If it blinks twice, it means it's closing. So as you program those in, um, you don't want to put these further than two inches apart on a door. So the closer you can put those together, the better. Um, if you have a door that needs to be oriented different, you can actually do an installation like this as well. So we're going to go around and do all theirs. There's our base station. Um, the base station, again, a lot smaller than the other one. Uh, it's a lot lighter as well. My son is going off in the background. This is our alarm. Uh, it is also right around the same size as the old one, but I think, again, a little bit slow, uh, smaller. You have two panic buttons that I purchased. Again, this system is completely customized to my house and what I needed. Uh, I got two panic buttons on the last system, so they sent me that because we just duplicated what I had. And then here you have your grass, glass brake sensors. These are going to want to be no more than 20 feet away from glass. Uh, they say not to put them near your kitchen either, though, because should you drop a glass or bang your glass against the wall or even just touch glasses together, uh, the frequency could set these off. So again, everything has those adhesive strips the pull tabs for the battery. So this is what the system looks like. What I got, I got two little stickers with it. They send you some uh, extra sticky tape for the back should you need that. Um, your One note about your base station too is it does plug in, but there is a built-in battery in here and your serial number is located on the bottom. So should you ever need that, um, you have that to go. And then I also have my Simply Safe uh, yard sign with these very bulky these very bulky, um, why get an alarm when you have a kid like that? Uh, these very bulky uh, placements for in the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and show the old system real quick and just kind of explain 
uh, everything I hated about it and why it's, it's uh, junked itself. Here is my old keypad sensor. You can see I have a, a different things. There's low batteries. There's no connection to dispatch. This, that, and the other thing of why I had to get the new system. Uh, internally, listen, if the, if the system goes on, it's not communicating with dispatch. It still works. It still works within your house. It's going to tell you when a door opens. Um, it's going to tell you when a, if an alarm goes off, it's going to still sound the alarm. So those things still work internally, but outside of that, it's not calling anybody. So for that and safety, uh, I replaced it. So, Here's a side by side just to kind of show you. They're almost the same size, but this one is a little bit smaller. I know that doesn't do it a lot of justice, um, but I could still see around the edges from my vantage point. Um, height wise, the same, but the buttons uh, are much bigger on this. And when you have chub chub fingers like myself, uh, you come in, you're hitting all kind of wrong numbers. It's a pain in the butt. Um, and we never really use that panic button. So you have these different options here. You can see um, it's much bigger on the keypad. So that's one advantage there. The second, an advantage and a disadvantage, these are the sensors on the old system, and you can see compared to the sensors on the new system, there's a gigantic difference in size. Um, so that's kind of, you know, it gives you a lower profile, a smaller profile on your doors. Not that we ever really notice these. Uh, my only concern is once I take these off now, you know, making sure that uh, hopefully my screw holes, if I decide to screw kind of line up, um, but I don't think they're going to. So that's gonna be a little concern because now I'm gonna have holes all over my house. But that's the difference between at least the, the keypad here and the sensors up top. I'm gonna to show you the difference in the base station. And then we're gonna go ahead and get everything of this removed and then install the new system. So here's the difference in size in the base stations as well. Again, lower profile, it has a different shape to it. Um, we're gonna, it's gonna be curious to see how this sounds. This one, the speaker I think is internal on this one. You can see I pulled this apart um, because I had to replace the chip which didn't end up working in the other pl first place. They actually made me replace this. If you go on this channel, you can see how to replace that. But at this point, I think it's a moot point because it doesn't work. So the speaker on this one is actually on top. It kind of reminds me of the Amazon Alexa. Um, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with switching everything out and then hopefully walk you through a little bit of the setup or at least do the setup and then explain how easy or hard I thought it was and, and some of the things I might've run into. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead here and plug in the base station and see what happens. Welcome to Simply Safe. Soothing. So, that might be it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the battery tab here as well. Let's go ahead and pull that out. So our battery's out. So now what we really got to do is get the keypads started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in all the other devices around the house. So I'm going to go and install everything. And that way, once I turn my keypads on, I could go in and program them in per the instructions. All right. So I got my sensors installed, got my keypad in. I pulled the battery out. It did a really quick search for base station. I heard the base station said that it said keypad added. And now it says install in progress. Uh, so this is actually a touch button. So as soon as you touch it, it comes on. Uh, install in progress, press menu button to complete setup. We're gonna do that. Choose a master pin. This code you'll use to disarm your system and change settings. Okay. So my pin has been added. Now it's gonna ask me to actually uh, connect to Wi-Fi because this system actually runs off of the SIM card or off of Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up real quick and just connect to my Wi-Fi. So it's looking for Wi-Fi, it found my options there. I'm gonna go ahead and click. And now I just gotta enter my password. Uh, so it's gonna be old school number digits. So now my Wi-Fi is connecting, so it's connecting to it. It's connected successfully. So now it's telling me to go ahead and follow the mounting instructions in the guide book or mobile app. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna to go to our different systems to set them up. So I'm actually at my first device, which is right by the door here. And underneath there, you'll see there's a little button. This button underneath is what I'm gonna push. Um, the other thing, when you're setting these up, make sure that the uh, little circle is on the inside of a little circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this button. It says entry sensor found. And now I heard my little device over there say added. And so I could go ahead and program this uh, with what it is. So this is the garage and I'm going to hit the down button and hit set. 
So now the thing said entry sensor name. So I'm going to go around to all of my devices and do that. So I'll just take you for a little walk here. Do the next one. Behind this guy. Hey, don't touch her. All right. We got our second sensor sensor up here. Oh, knocked that one right off. Oh, you got to be careful. So this one's actually on top. Let's go ahead and give it a name. This is our front door. It's going to go ahead and hit set. Huh. Very easy. So, go to the next one. Give it a name. Perfect. And just to show you some different ones here, we're gonna do the glass break sensor. Oh, there's the button underneath. So I got through programming most of it, but uh, the panic buttons are a little unique because when you pull it out, there's no button on it to push. Uh, so all you do is hold it down for two seconds and you'll see the light. And then the same thing, you go ahead and give it a name. So give it a name of where it's gonna be located. Why it's important to do locations is if your batteries run out, it'll now tell you where that's located. So it'll say sensor or panic button in this case, located wherever I place it. Uh, so that's important to do and name it. The old system used to just do it based off the serial numbers and it was a confusing thing to do. You had to go online to figure out which serial number went where when a battery went out. So I actually really like that about this system. All right, so my system is finally all set up. I got the uh, little stick yardstick here. I'm gonna stick that out. Um, the system itself, uh, again, simple to use if you wanna go home. You got in at home. It automatically sets, the little voice thing says um, home if you wanna go off. Go ahead and enter in your pin. And then for away, so now if you, if you get to this step, you're gonna to have to download the app. And I'm gonna say real quick, from going from the old system to the new system, uh, I had to actually set up the, I set up the account and everything through the uh, simplysafe.com forward slash activate. I put in the new serial number, set the home address, all the people that are at home, but the old system was still on. So I actually had to call them to have them remove the old system and ensure that the new one was set up. And if you were logged into the app previously with the, the uh, app you were using, you have to actually log out of that. When you log back into new systems there. So if I wanted to go away mode, Go ahead and hit away, starts my countdown. Now, the thing about the countdown is I can set all of that up in the app. I could set how long that is. I could set uh, different parameters for sensors, if they're on during the home uh, mode, if they're off during the home mode. So you wanna go through the app and check everything out. It's really self-explanatory. Uh, if I wanna cancel this, I just go ahead and hit my code there again. But that is everything there. So if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, I go ahead and answer them in the comments below. But thanks for watching another random review and how to.